it's Wednesday and that means another what's up tip. Today I'm gonna bring you a tool and the tool is for virtual and augmented reality for the classroom. You know, we are really trying to bring experiences to our students and taking them places and really taking abstract ideas and making them con concrete in some way, shape, or form. Well, virtual reality and augmented reality can really do that in the classroom when done the right way and in a safe environment. So that's why I want to introduce you to eduverse.com made by Class VR Avanti, um, Avantis. They have a new portal that is safe, immersive. It's an online tool that's crafted solely for the K-12 environment. So all content is curriculum driven. It's one of those anytime, anywhere, and most importantly, any device platform. The icing on the cake is that the content, a majority of the content is free on eduverse.com. So let's take a closer look at what eduverse.com can provide you. When I start out with eduverse.com, I'm starting out with um, going to the website and I really and truly want you to take a deep dive. There is so much information there that I'm not even gonna be able to cover, but take a look. It has some great information for you about how to use it and why it's there. So once you create your account, which is free, you'll be able to pop into what this is called your um, Eduverse homeroom. And this is where you begin everything that you're gonna do. Now, when I'm about to pop into the content, I just wanna make note that I have a class VR subscription, a paid class VR subscription, which means I have access to all content, class VR, Avantis World, and this eduverse.com. If you are a class VR user, you just need to use your credentials that you use for class VR, and then you have access to this website as well. If you are not, sign up for the free account. It will take you here to your homeroom and we're gonna go find the content in the explore button here at the bottom. There's the explore button. Please take note that I have the full subscription, paid subscription for Class VR. So I'm gonna have access to everything. Advances World, Ediversity, Expeditions 360 World Events. I have access to all of that. If you are a subscriber, you can use those credentials to sign into this as well. And so you have two platforms, two portals now, the Class VR portal and then this Eduverse platform. If you are not, then what you can do is sign up for that EDU account. And then if it is part of the paid subscription, it's gonna be grayed out where you're gonna find the majority of the content for you, those for free content is Expeditions 360. So click there, drill down topics. If I click on all 360, it's gonna drill down even more to images, models, videos, all scenes. That way I can get to the heart of whether I want them to watch a 360 video or whether I wanna bring a model to them my favorite has to be scenes. Scenes is an immersive experience for our students. Brings them there, puts them in that environment. Take note of this, the students will not be able to move things around. They won't be able to um, manipulate anything. They'll just be able to be in that illustrative scene. So once you have, once you are in this Expeditions 360 and you're in a scene, um, you click on it and then it'll take you to um, that environment. So I'm gonna take us to Van Gogh, the Van Gogh day scene here. It's gonna pop me into this pixelated area where I'm gonna be able to join the room. So as I'm waiting for it to populate, 
just to take a little quick little look around like this in this area up here at the top in your uh, upper right you'll see people learn teach people is the number of students that you've invited into that space learn is a quick synopsis of what they're looking at and possibly a task some of the scenes have focus questions teach does the same thing so teach will give you your objectives those focus questions and things that you want to point out to students as you're in the room together where do i go to invite my students i go to invite my students here in the invite button at the bottom right invite gives you a shortened url or a qr code that shortened url you can put that in any lms um, and then your students can join you their whole group all at the same time you're there all at the same time gather gets them all to refocus back in your area that you're trying to get them to pay attention to when you are in there all together the most important part to remember is that when you leave they leave so they're not all in an an open um, metaverse that you can't control um, what's happening in that environment when you leave they leave if you want them to do more of a at home experience or learn at their own pace experience I would suggest hall pass hall pass gives you the the same eduverse um, URL however it will provide you with a separate URL for that student and that student is exploring that scene on their own. So great for at home learning or great for at your own pace learning. So this one hall pass is individual. Invite is when you want the whole entire group to be in there together with you so that you can be the facilitator, you know, the guide of this scene that you're in. I'm going to pop in, I'm going to join the room. And when I join the room, it's going to bring me to that space. Now, I am on a touch screen laptop. If you are any, if you're doing anything touch screen, iPad, any Android device, or any touch screen monitor, your students are going to use that gray, this grayed out, it's kind of like a transparent bubble to move around. They can also use their finger to work around the room or pinch and zoom to get a closer look at what the room has in it. Now this right here, oh look there's that proverbial hat. Um, so we can really dive deep into this Van Gogh day scene and have that exploration. If my students are on a laptop desktop um, device, you are going to use the arrow keys on the keyboard or the WASD keys um, on your QWERTY, the QWERTY, um, you know, the keyboard. So W is forward, S is back. A is to the left and D is to the right. And they probably know this because if they play any kind of games on um, a PC, they know that that WASD is movement keys in that game. But because I'm on a touchscreen device, I have to use that transparent bubble and move around that way. Okay. So explore remember take a deep dive when i say remember it's any device i'm saying it's any device so i don't need a headset headsets are great for that truly immersive experience however if i don't have access to headsets or maybe the headsets are not available for me that day i can still use this content on a laptop on an ipad or any type of device handheld device as long as it has a browser they're able to look at the content. So now that you see all of the features, go back to that eduverse.com, take a deep dive into 
what it shows you, frequently asked questions, how it all works, you'll be happy to add this to your classroom resources. You want to take them anywhere, you want to take them at any time, and you want to take them on any device. Provide them with those experiences and turn those abstract ideas into more concrete ones. Thanks so much for your time. We'll see you next time.